big time contest. Yeah, looking back, could you maybe go lay the ball in and then foul one of the um, Pelicans? Or does Steph give it up and relocate? But I really think he thought he's going to come off there with a little cleaner look. Give, give uh, the Pelicans yep. defense credit there. Number one rated three-point def uh, defensive possession yep. uh, percentage mm -hmm. by another team. That's the New Orleans Pelicans. They are long, athletic. Herb Jones, Trey Murphy, Zion Williamson jumping out there contesting shots. They do such a great job. So well disciplined. Willie Green, the coach, is a disciple from here. Yep. He, he actually came from the Golden State Warriors and he went over to New Orleans Pelicans. So you can see the attention, the detail that the players have and you can see why they're the number six rated defense in the NBA. Yeah, you think about it. You mentioned Herb Jones, Trey Murphy, and you throw ben Brandon Ingram in there. Oh. You talk about, you know, switching three across the front. Right. They're, they're not touch switching. They're coming together with their length, their contestant shots, and they're forcing uh, three-point shooters into the lane where then you have to deal with Zion and Valanchunas. Yeah, you mentioned a three-point defense here, giving up 34.7% from the three-point line, tops in the NBA. And they're so long and athletic that they get their hands on every ball, D deflections, turnovers. You cannot pass across the court against this team because they're long and athletic, but the turnovers did them in, starting with that second quarter, which they gave up nine turnovers. They committed nine turnovers. Excuse me, giving up 15 points off those turnovers overall. 16 turnovers. They give up 25 points off those turnovers. A minus 13 in that department, Mully. Yeah, and we talked pregame about not not giving uh, any team more field goal attempts. Never mind live ball turnovers where they lead to layups and dunks. And Bonte, read off those stats in the second quarter for the Pelicans. Yeah. High 70s from the field. Yeah. 72.7% 70. from the floor, 77% for the three-point line. Only four turnovers where the Warriors had nine and give up 15 points off those turnovers. And, and that quarter results in a 45-22. And as Festa said, the Warriors won every other quarter. But it just felt after that second quarter, even when they got in, uh, cut it to three, they just never got over the hump again. I thought that second quarter just took so much out of them and gave the Pelicans so much yep. confidence to kind of last just enough to squeak out that win at the end. The ball is energy. They say that all the time. And when you turn the ball over, you're giving the other team life. The Golden State Warriors held the New Orleans Pelicans in the first quarter to 17 points. Mm -hmm. So when you turn the ball over, you're just giving them free points. The next quarter after that, they gave them 45 points. And a lot of those were easy buckets. Nine turnovers for, 20, for 15, 15 points. 15 points. That's 15 extra points that you give to them and they shoot 70 77 percent from the three-point that's Ooh. insane for the third quarter they kept trying to chase them back it says a lot about the Golden State Warriors that they were able to come back and still get into this game down 16 giving up 45 points in one quarter and still be able to get back in the game that's defense that's offense but it's really really putting a lot of emphasis on the fact that you have to take care of the ball you have to make sure that each possession has to count for something in those live ball terms you can't defend so it really compromises any type of transition defense. And I got to say, man, Draymond Green played Zion Williamson as good as I've yeah. seen anyone all season long, one-on-one, -on -one, straight up in the half court. So all of a sudden, if they don't have those, those points off turnovers and they've got to operate in the half court, I thought the Warriors were really solid yeah. in their half court defense. Yeah, Draymond was dominant. He didn't Incredible. take a shot tonight. He went to the wow. going five and seven for the three-point line against the LA Lakers. Did not take a shot, but had 12 rebounds. And as you mentioned, Willie, the 11 assists and great one-on-one -on -one defense on Zion Williamson. But the Warriors drop another tough one at home. Let's go inside the chase for a little reaction from Fitz and Buki. Well, if you missed the Warriors season, tonight would be a great microcosm because there was a 36-minute game that the Warriors won by 18 points, outplaying the Pelicans in the first, third, and fourth quarter. But then there was a second quarter where it was turnovers and threes, and they got blown out, and the Pelicans built enough of a cushion to come up with a win. And so the Warriors likely are going to be in the 9-10 game, and that's probably where they should be. And unfortunately for the Warriors, that's kind of how they are sometimes. It takes them having an awful quarter yeah. with nine turnovers for them to go, okay, we, we got to stop doing this. And it's kind of their personality. They're so bold. They can be loose with it. Steph can be loose with the ball. And, and you love the way he plays free and the joy he plays with. But sometimes it can come back to hurt you there. And that's the part you can control. Yeah, they got hot from three-point range and a lot of times you're there and you're contesting as good as you can and cj's just doing his thing and trey murphy's knocking down threes high arcing threes that are almost hitting the scoreboard from close to half court all right yeah that, that's going to happen at times teams are going to get hot this is a great three-point shooting team but you can't afford a, a quarter with nine turnovers. Is this is especially as you go into this playing tournament right. now? Like you, you can't have bad quarters that are that bad. Like if the team's getting hot and you're struggling defending, that's one thing. If you're 
you know, turning the ball over, and a lot of them aren't forced turnovers. That's something you can usually control. Now, the Warriors had the advantage on points in the paint, and they crushed the Pelicans in terms of rebounding, and the Warrior interior defense was excellent. So that's why three of the four quarters were really good basketball. But they're not going anywhere in the postseason with a full quarter lapse like they have. And really, Sunday, we're going to find out all the final permutations, but this get, it ends any chance to be the eighth seed, and you may have squandered the opportunity to host the 9-10 game. So th this is going to hurt for sure. And that's the kind of positive you can take from this game. It's like, yeah, we had an awful second quarter. At times, we weren't shooting a three-ball like we liked, the turnovers and all that. But we were still there. Yeah, we, we were still competing absolutely. and had a chance. And you said it's a microcosm of the season. That has been the season <laughs> where you've been in that many close games where at times you've struggled. You haven't played your best, but you've been there with a chance to win in the end and a lot of them you have been able to win and some you have so you just have to find a way to put a 48 minute game together stay locked in keep your concentration i said at the beginning of this game patience yeah. warriors need patience on offense a lot of the time just take a beat just take a beat relax move the ball make the simple pass if you see your guy rolling and it looks tough ah, just restraint just don't throw it, Fitz. Don't throw the ball sometimes. Warriors can do it. I believe in them. I know they can. Take a beat till Sunday at 1230. Special start time, and we'll have all the playoff matchups because everyone in the league plays at exactly the same time on Sunday. Sunday matinee, and we'll find out all the seedings, all the matchups, and set up the play-in tournament. In the community, it's not just Oakland, it's not just San Francisco, it's the entire Bay Area, and you two are still part of the community helping out the Golden State Warriors. Well, yeah, the Warriors have done such a great job of being in the community, making their mark, finding ways to help whatever it is, that they, whatever causes they find, whether it's education, whether it's homelessness, whatever cause, I've been a part of this, Molly has been a part of this. One of the reasons why people wear the Warriors logo and emblem with so much pride is how much, how deep rooted they are in the community here. As you can see, it doesn't matter when or lost every the fans are always here supporting the Golden State Warriors Warriors have always done a great job Bonte you said it with throughout the entire Bay Area but now they've taken it to a new level this yeah. is a global iconic brand across the entire world uh, and they do a great job giving back to the community I'm just glad they didn't have to count me and your dunks because they'd be broke <laughs> you know Festus TJD <laughs> Uh, Jonathan Kaminga. In the red. You know, me and you, yeah, they'd be struggling a little bit. <laughs> Wouldn't be a lot of books for these kids, right? <laughs> All right, let's go flag above the rib, courtesy of Oakland International Airport. Who is it? It's not Air Congo. He didn't play Fezzy Phil. This is Steph Curry. Oh, this, this is nasty. nasty. The first quarter. Midwest Airlines! Day Day off the backboard to TJD. Let's this, go, big fella. This is not a, 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 a clean, fast break. What a great read by Draymond Green for the setup. I love this play because just two games ago, you saw Draymond throw this pass to TJD, and he was looking like, I, I didn't expect that. So you can see the chemistry continue to form here with the team. This is insane. Draymond Green is the first player in NBA history to record a double-double without attempting any shots. Wow. He didn't take a shot tonight. Now, Bonta, you know me. I love when Draymond Green is aggressive offensively. He's been great all season long, and he just had those five threes against the Lakers. Yep. But tonight, the way he played one-on-one -on -one defense straight up on Zion Williamson, I'm going to say, you know what? He did more than his job tonight yep. trying to impact this game with the assists, yep. uh, the rebounds, and his one-on-one -on -one defense taking that challenge on. He did a great job tonight. Zion was 11 to 26 from the floor. If you, to play defense on a guy like Zion Williamson is to be just sacrificing your body to being assaulted all night long because he's just, he's driving to the paint. He doesn't care. He's 285 pounds and he moves like a guard out there. It's, it's really incredible to watch Zion Williamson play, but Draymond Green was so, he was up to the task, just physically pushing him out of his spots, making sure he doesn't get there, giving him some space, playing him for the drive. And, and Getting 26 points on 26 shots, that's shots taken away from C.J. McCollum, Trey yeah. Murphy, those guys that were super hot from the three-point line. Draymond did a phenomenal job tonight on defense. And we talk a lot about Draymond playing with Trace Jackson Davis, um, him be able to roam, communicate. Tonight was all about man versus man, one-on-one -on -one against one of the best power forwards in the league, and Draymond did a tremendous job. Yeah, he accepted the challenge, and he did a damn good job on Zion Williamson. All right, let's look at Steph Curry's night, because Steph Curry, he's going to look back at the box score, and he's going to say, boy, I got to take care of 
take better care of the basketball here. Stephen Curry, seven turnovers tonight. Did go 12 of 23, and it was good to see him shoot over 50%, 7 to 13 after playing a heavy load last night. Played 36 minutes in Portland. Tonight, 32 minutes and 24 seconds, four rebounds, five assists. But tonight's game is going to be marred by his personal turnovers, but he committed seven tonight against the Pelicans. Yeah, I think when you look back at these, Bonte and Festus, you look at the ones that were unforced and take those away. Then that's probably four of them. So now you're at three turnovers. You can live with that. But again, much like that last play, Bonte, where Herb Jones and Trey Murphy, you know, were, were hounding Steph, this, this Pelicans team is really good defensively because when they switch, they're doing like-sized players or bigger that can move their feet laterally. They got tremendous length. And Steph's shot 50%. He had to work really hard for all those baskets, and I think it did uh, wear and tear a little bit. You mentioned 36 minutes yeah. last night, and then playing against a tough defense tonight. That'll wear on you. But, Fezzi, he did play through the right ankle injury. He twisted his right ankle midway through the fourth quarter, was able to play through that, and gave the Warriors a bunch of chance to tie the basketball game. Man, when it, when it gets to game time, Steph Curry is a different animal. You can see it out there. Even with all the turnovers, they're down 10 in the fourth quarter, and he just takes over. Hitting shot after shot after shot, getting to the rim, hitting a step back. Step back from all the way from the middle of the paint. He was stepping back all the way to the three-point line on Zion Williamson and still hit that shot. He just turned it on. And that's why you get so upset about the turnovers because just shoot the ball. Like, Steph Curry was 7 for 13 mm -hmm. from the three-point line against the number one rated three-point defense in the NBA. This team is incredible offensively. The Warriors are. And if they continue to take care of the ball, the sky's the limit. It's just tough when you give the other team second chance points and you're just taking away from your own offense because tonight they showed over 50%. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. Warriors have committed 15 plus turnovers in eight consecutive games. As we take a look at the team stack comparison, the Warriors do shoot 46%. They end up shooting 38%. But look at the Pelicans. They shot 52.5% for the three-point line going 20 of 38. The assist numbers are down for both teams here, but the turnovers are the big difference in this basketball game for the Golden State Warriors as they lose to the Pelly Pels. They dropped to 20 and 20 at home and now down to the 10th seat. Let's hear from Steve Kerr, presented by BMW. Yeah, our turnovers killed us. You know, we had really good control of the game in the uh, in the first quarter, held them to 17. Our defense was great. And then uh, we just started um, turning it over. I thought uh, Alvarado came in, put a lot of pressure on the ball, and, and uh, we couldn't execute offensively. And I think we, they scored 15 points off our turnovers in that quarter alone. So uh, that's where the game flipped for sure. They were 20 of 38 from three-point. Uh, did you think you just have breakdowns there? What was going on with their oh, tough shots that they were making? Tough shots. Uh, I thought our half court defense was great tonight. And I thought um, our guys were flying out at shooters. Um, give them credit. They made some really tough shots. I mean, Trey Murphy made a couple of 30 footers with a hand in his face, high arcing shots. This is the modern NBA, you know. Um, we made 26 threes in LA the other day. Um, they made 20 tonight. If, if a team gets hot from three, it's it's really hard uh, to win the game. So, you know, they made seven more threes than us. Um, but it was the the, uh, the turnovers that led to transition that got them going. And that's you could see that's where they started to pick up their confidence. I know you don't know all the permutations, but could you be resting some guys on Sunday? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> does, does it matter 9 10 at this point? Well, how much does that matter? I mean, you, you prefer to stay at home, but if you look at what we're facing, uh, it's a gauntlet, right? And you got to play two, two play in games. And if you, if you can win those two, then you got to, you know, game one 48 hours after that. So I'm much more interested in uh, our. Uh, ability to to be ready for for next week um but we've got to wait and see how everything shakes out so the big statement from steve kerr there is that he's going to rest some guys on sunday we don't know who he's going to rest yet but it's an early start against the utah jazz that'll be their third game in the last four nights or four days i should say so a 12 30 start sunday so how do you guys feel about steve kerr electing to rest some guys sunday against the utah jazz ahead of the playing tournament 
Well, the best ability is availability. And for his guys right now, having everyone on the court, being healthy for the play-in and for the playoffs, I think that's his biggest priority right now. You know where you're going to land. And the Warriors have had opportunities this season so far to move up in the standings. And right now, you're in the play-in tournament. You know where you are. Just try to get a win against Utah Jazz and have your role players get in the game, get some minutes. Those guys are going to play big minutes. But right now, the Warriors are trying to get the rest and get ready to, to make this run. Yeah, so see how the rest of these scores turn out, right? And if they're 9 or 10, look, the Warriors have played better on the road than they have here <laughs> at home. It's true. So to me, okay, if they're locked in at 9-10, it's Steph, Clay, Draymond, Chris Paul, rest up, get ready for the play, because you have to play two games mm -hmm. to get to the playoffs. So the most important thing, we've been saying this a lot, you know, talk about playoff scenarios, seeding, playing the best brand of basketball, but before that, it's being healthy and fresh going into that playing game. All right, well, C.J. McCollum looks healthy and fresh right now. He just had a heater in Northern California last night against Sacramento. He goes 9 to 12 from the three-point line. Well, he started off 1 to 7. Bully kept asking me, what's C.J.? What's C.J.? 1 to 5, 1 to 6, 1 to 7. But then he finishes 10 to 21, 8 of 13 from the three-point line, including that big dagger with about a minute left to give the Pelicans a commanding six-point lead. But he was 1 of 7, and the Warriors were getting him off the three-point line, forcing him into runners that were contested and as Steve Kerr just said once those turnovers started uh, uh, piling up CJ found his rhythm and the entire New Orleans Pelicans team got their confidence dominated that second quarter 45 22 and never looked back well with the absence of Brandon Ingram CJ McCollum has had to carry a lot of the scoring load and as a veteran on this team of the New Orleans Pelicans he really he came out with a, an intention of focusing that second quarter you could see it in his face he was chirping at clay just that intention and his ability to, to rally his guys up that's his role as a veteran but as a shot maker he just feels comfortable on the west coast you know he used to play in Portland mm -hmm. and now he's back out here it's the playing tournament and he's really ramped up the, the the offense for this team last night in Sacramento 9 for 12 tonight 8 for 13 from the three-point mm -hmm. line man that man is a bucket it must feel good to shoot like that. What is it like? Because I know we well, can't shoot like that. How many why times? Why are you pointing at me? Why, why, why would you put me in the bus with you? No, no, you can't just, shoot like that. Just get in the dunker spot. Calm down. Put your head down. <laughs> how many times have we said, though, for when the Warriors get, get cooking offensively? It's in, yep. the tra it's in transition, whether it be on, on, on stops to get the ball up quickly or opponents' turnovers. Tonight, I thought the Warriors played terrific half-court defense. The problem was the Pelicans in that second quarter were out in transition all the time on stops. Stops, and then, of course, the Warriors' turnovers. That's where the easy baskets are. That's where their rhythm came from. They went 10 for 13 yeah. from three, and they were not half-court set plays. No doubt. They was out in transition because of turnovers. And CJ's been waiting a long time. He's got a lot of nightmares from losing a lot of big <laughs> games to the Golden State Warriors. All right, Zion Williamson, man, he is a load. He looks like he's in terrific shape. Shape. But Draymond Green made him work for everything tonight. Very impressive one-on-one -on -one defense against Zion. 